So you're bowling at nationals, staring at that terrifying oil pattern. Doubt starts to creep in and you start to wonder if you can perform. At least you know everyone you're bowling with and you've got the lane to yourself. That is your biggest advantage. Today we are going to talk about preparing for team bowling at the nationals next on The Art of Bowling. Hi, I'm USBC Silver Certified Coach Arthur O'Connor. Here on The Art of Bowling, we discuss tips, tricks, and techniques to help you improve your bowling game. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you do not miss another episode. So how do we practice for nationals? Here is what I suggest. Start practicing as a team at least a month away from the date of the tournament. Bowl with people who want to bowl together to ensure good chemistry. Ask your local center if they'll put out a shot for you. Use oil patterns of past years to get ready. At the Nationals, they're heavy oil patterns. One long, one in the medium to short range. Last year, the medium to shorter pattern was for the team event. It was 38 feet long with 28 milliliters of oil on it. It doesn't mean it'll be that way this year, but it's a good way to prep. Practice on tough patterns like the US Open or the USBC Masters. Make a plan about where you would like to play on the lane. Here's an effective strategy to use on the day of the tournament. First, be ready to go straight at your spares. Taking the lane out of play on spare attempts is a no-brainer. Shooting a seven and a 10 near the end of practice will help you line up for your spares. As a team, you have a distinct advantage of breaking down lanes together during practice. Here's how it works. Using a ball with a lot of surface, throw it straight up the boards outside the first arrow. The intention is to burn the outside of the lane and build a dry area. Do that through the first five minutes of practice together. After that, grab your benchmark ball and start finding a line using the area you've cut out. Remember to shoot that seven and 10 pin just before the end of practice. Now that practice is over and you're officially in the game, play to that friction area you've created. As the lane transitions, start moving in to chase the oil. It helps to have a person on your team with less hand that can continue to play up the boards longer to keep building that wall to play into. The point is you need to play the lanes as a team to put yourself in a position to score well. This strategy will work at the Nationals and it also works on your league house shot. A team that plans together, wins together. Bowling Nationals is about communication, preparation, and chemistry. I suggest your team have a meal together the day before you bowl then a meal after together to bond and talk. Stick to the plan and stay on the same page. Going to nationals is a terrific experience. Doing well makes it that much more enjoyable. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. Hi, I'm USBC Silver Certified Coach Arthur O'Connor. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. Coming up on The Art of Bowling.